Soft hands sewing needle worthy when they need me. Had me brooms and pretty dresses, feminine they feed me. I've been feeding for a bigger definition of this box. Returning to divinity and busting through these locks. Oh, I've been feeding for a bigger definition of this box. Returning to divinity and busting through these locks. Uber driver or supervisor gonna ask me about my work. Ain't no definition gonna tell them about my worth, but I'm price tagging, try to reimagine how to eat up off my dreams. How you dollar sign what's on these pages when I bleed though, when I bleed though, how I bleed though, how you dollar sign what's on these pages when I bleed though, always in two places. Mama say I'm faceless, ask me why I'm late, my demons standing at my gate stretching four dollars into everybody's backbone. Gotta pick the pieces up and be a real one way through toxic masculinity and be a good girl be a brainstorm bank and share ideas on how to change the world and do it all by four with some heels on bench pressing with my spirit got me so gone tell me how to be raw tell me how to be beautiful tell me how to take madness and make magic with my ruined suit oh with my ruined suit tell me how to take madness and make magic with my ruins too. Tell me I'm not flying, show you I see wings that flutter. Ask me how I hold this stage so brave and I don't stutter. Like to be important, grow your teeth out. Don't be so lady so they can see you now. Yeah, bet you can see me now. All my poems are too soft for the teeth people try to glue on them. He tells me it's all about appearance. You have to make yourself bigger. I don't know how to be louder than my own spirit nuzzling the bloody fleshy walls of my lungs and maybe I don't stretch out enough, it's true. I sit in the back corners of every restaurant, my tongue since ever massaging the backs of my oversensitive teeth. I tire myself out flat twisting my hair at 3 a.m. so the curls translate themselves into anxiety and doubt. I ruin all of my shoes dragging my feet after a night of failed attempts at dodging my own darkness by staying awake, the dreams are where the ancestors speak to me. I know my history in the blood that makes my country soil red. I know my future in the pain thrust before my feet. People bring me their afflictions, their pain in casual conversation. Drop their bags before my altar and say, heal. I don't know how to stop accumulating all this pain I am warring against. It has grown two backs and ferocious claws. No one sees how big I am then. How how much magic it takes to raise my sword to the panic every morning and cut to look in the mirror every day force my smile a dagger into the shame and cut mold my breath into a prayer to a god i'm learning to love in a way that breaks my mother's part say the prayer like a spell and cut i don't tell people how many dragons i slay every day i am a wolf dressed as a deer carrying a hive of honeybees in my mouth i do not hunt unless i have to i do not speak until provoked. I let sweetness drip from my lips like medicine. This is my witchcraft. My shadow self knows the curses. How to drown wanting men in their own insecurities. How to steal the air from a room. My shadow self is still myself. My chaos lives quietly in my belly and I am unafraid of it. We nod at each other over breakfast. I marvel and howl at blood moons and some days I have the knowledge that I have swallowed whole parts parts of the universe, the wisdom of stars and nebulae twinkling from my belly button when I say, trust me, I know, trust me, I know. If I do not speak today, it's for your own good. If I speak softly, it's because grace cushions the sting. Um, first of all, y'all are so incredibly talented. I just, I'm sitting there in awe and I'm inspired every moment by everything that y'all are saying. Um, so yeah, thank you for allowing me into this space. Um, I'm really excited because I'm reading a lot of like brand new work for you all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do my hair in the nighttime and my lips stay parted and the candles stay lit. 
and the kink sealed softly to my urging fingers and Jill Scott intercedes in a voice only my God knows and I am allowed to be tender headed and my comb is a witness gathering dead end disciples and mama's lap is the memory I rest my neck on the, when the last braid strains and if this is all I could ever do at least my hands know it well and I do not need permission this time and I never needed permission and maybe this is how a pair of passed down hips unfold into a new future. The other one, put the, the bar. One. Oh, this one? Little bar. Little bar. Right, right. There you go. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, me and microphones have a really weird relationship. I don't think they like me very much. Yeah, see, it's moving away from me. Oh my god. Okay, um, this is actually really, really bland, uh, brand new. Um, I've been writing a lot of form poems lately. Um, so the last poem I wrote, um, I use a lot of repetition in uh, certain poems. And today we wrote pantoons, which also utilize repetition. So the and, the and, um, sometimes fanboys can be used to your advantage. So this is a poem poem that I wrote um, in couplets, and it's called, Well, Officer. Hey. One time my cousin dared me to punch him in the stomach as hard as I could. I, the only flower gene in a caravan of brothers, saw my hands for the first time. The blood that poured from his nose onto the gravel was a red I hadn't been taught the name for. Someone in my body spat at him, like they recognized the man in his body who tried too many times to use my anger to prove a point. Now, when men come to rifle through me looking for hysteria, the same person looks back at them. I learned how to carry my people in a cocked fist or arabesque. I know the power of an ancient word to tap into the stowaways in my blood be the viper someone remembered my grandfather as. This is a warning for the ones who forget whose daughter I am. This is also sacred. Violence is an expensive language in this skin. It is still a ritual I prepare for. This is a freedom that gashes my feet as I run. They said to break the yoke, then were upset at the mess of the splinters. My whole being still cries out as the yay before the amen. another poem for you all. So um, I come from Denver and uh, oh man, Denver is changing a lot. My neighborhood, all of the neighborhoods are really going through a very heavy bout of gentrification. Um, and so everywhere I go, I kind of like to speak about that because I feel like it's happening in every city and there are ways um, that we can recognize it, that we can name it, kind of call it out. So this is a poem that I wrote for my city. There's still a 7-Eleven on almost every corner, and the parking lot of Chubby's is still a popular hangout for angry pigeons. And at night, <laughs> under the beam of the full moon and the crackling buzz of the street signs along Federal, the tumbleweeds rustle unbothered, and Denver is still the Wild West. My blood has known the easy wave of palm leaves and Lagos beaches from the womb. I didn't know what a cowboy was until the age of 11. This rocky desert doesn't quite know what to do with my skin and my hair breaks in protest, but my spirit recognizes those mountains like kin. Before Kerouac lost his mind walking the length of Colfax, before the KKK march on Larimer, before Larimer, before marijuana legalization, before baby doe and water, Earth before the Sand Creek Massacre in Capitol Hill. Chief Ure did not want the white man to build on his land, fought to keep the sweet grass wild beneath his people's feet, held the hand of the devil only when the bodies started piling up. Construction cranes and New York glass cast shadows on neighborhoods whose histories are being churned into currency. There's no difference between gentrification and the gold rush. Whoever said Denver had no ghettos never realized internment is 
synonymous with erasure. Oh. Denver can play the part of adoptive mother so well that we forget who she first gave birth to. For every native bumper sticker slapped on the back of a Prius, there's an Apache grandmother who had to lose her language to bend that word into existence. Under the chipping paint of our historic homes, there are names that were deemed too poor or too brown for remembrance. Development gets too expensive when home turns into a house with character and safety is the lighting and Spanish street names while driving out the paleta carts to keep up property value. Ooh. Boasting about a hood with trendy ethnic restaurants and trimmed lawns cannot connect you to a land you do not know. You have to dig your fingers in the earth for that. Get comfortable with the skeletons buried next to the flower roots in your backyard. In the last five years, my city has swallowed up anyone with enough money for a ski pass, dispensary membership, and the dream, and spat out the ones who couldn't afford to keep up with progress. Tell me the difference between displacement and disappearing. When did we let community become optional in the face of the American dream? Does anyone remember when property tax didn't cost a whole spirit? Does your tia still live in her old house? Is there a bike path where your ancestors used to pray? Do you remember seeing faces like yours in your neighborhood? Do you have hope that you will again? As long as there are those who will always remember the highlands as the north side, Rhino as five points, and Montbello doesn't stop fighting for its food rights, and the front range peaks are never afraid that the skyscrapers will eclipse them in Denver. We gather together like devotees under the saving glow of candle vigils and poetry readings here, and the knowing of each other and the sharing of soul we make a home. I blasted through those, but I have one more poem for you all tonight, and then I'm excited to hear the rest of your poems. Again. My mother asks me why my poems are so abrasive. I tell her the words do what I cannot, that I was taught to be polite 